Under a brooding sky streaked with jagged flashes of lightning, a clash of two wildly different legends unfolded in the depths of a shadowy forest. On one side stood Jason Voorhees, the silent masked horror that had haunted Camp Crystal Lake for decades, armed with his trademark machete and an unrelenting thirst for vengeance. Opposite him was Jackie Chan, the nimble, quick-witted martial artist whose ingenuity and charm had made him an icon of modern cinema. Their confrontation promised to be as much a battle of styles as a test of raw endurance. Jason Voorhees is a near-unstoppable force. His supernatural durability and immense physical strength have made him a living nightmare for anyone who dares cross his path. He moves with an eerie stillness, his hulking figure often striking fear before the first swing of his weapon. But Jason is slow, predictable, and utterly lacking in finesse or adaptability. His brute force can devastate, but only if he can catch his target. Jackie Chan, on the other hand, is the epitome of agility and creativity. Known for his resourcefulness, Jackie can turn the most mundane objects, a ladder, a broom, or even a frying pan, into weapons of great effectiveness. His years of martial arts training grant him fluidity, speed, and precision. Yet Jackie's biggest strength is his quick thinking under pressure. His weakness. He's only human. Against a supernatural adversary like Jason, the odds of injury, or worse, are significantly higher. It began in eerie silence, broken only by the soft rustle of leaves and the distant hoot of an owl. Jason's machete glinted in the moonlight as he stepped forward, his lumbering gait betraying no sense of urgency. Jackie stood his ground, a playful smirk masking his inner calculation. Without hesitation, he grabbed a nearby tree branch, twirling it like a bow staff. Jason swung his machete with brutal force, only to meet empty air as Jackie ducked and rolled. The fight quickly turned into a deadly game of cat and mouse, with Jason's relentless attacks crashing into trees and rocks while Jackie danced around him, landing sharp kicks and strikes when opportunities arose. When Jackie stumbled upon an abandoned shack, the tide seemed to turn. Using the environment to his advantage, he trapped Jason in a makeshift snare, slowing him long enough to unleash a flurry of punches. But Jason broke free, his rage boiling over. As the fight dragged on, Jackie's stamina began to wane. He knew he had to think bigger. Seizing a chance, Jackie lured Jason toward a precarious cliff. Using a combination of acrobatics and cunning, he outmaneuvered the behemoth, delivering a final kick that sent Jason tumbling into the churning river below. Jackie Chan emerged victorious, but just barely. His agility and clever use of his surroundings allowed him to overcome Jason's raw power. Yet, the victory wasn't without cost. Jackie's bruises and battered body told the story of how close he had come to defeat. In the end, it wasn't strength or fearlessness that won the day, but intelligence, adaptability, and a willingness to risk everything to survive. Jason Voorhees might be relentless, but even the most fearsome predator can be outwitted by a true master of improvisation.